I never decide ahead of time if I'm going to do a testimony. There might be something that happens through the week and I want to share. Uh, but most of the time, I always come when he tugs on me because I have seen people who I love stand with their hands clenched and not walk down that aisle. I won't be, that won't be me. Um, what you said earlier about our Tuesday night Bible study, I just want Shelly to know, and the Lord already knows this, you don't have to be a theologian. You just have to love the Lord, and this lady loves the Lord. Uh, they were teasing me <laughs> because every Tuesday night when I leave, I say, and I don't say it lightly, this was the best lesson ever <laughs> because I've learned so much. You would think in 40-something years of being a Christian, I probably knew a lot. I don't think I knew that much. I think I knew the important stuff. But things that I read over and never looked twice at, we're bringing out. And in Genesis, you think you know how the, the world started and God created everything. But oh my gosh, when you take it like we're doing in that, in that study, it just brings a brand new light. And, and the Lord actually is teaching me things through her and through the other ladies. It's a very, I mean this in the best of ways, comfortable place to be. I do not mind asking a question that 63-year-old woman should know, but not. Maybe I don't know. Maybe I'm questioning. Maybe I'm not sure. And I need that reaffirmment from the other Christian ladies. And I'm just so thankful that we have somebody that will lead that study. Thank you. Amen. I've been praying for the ladies' Bible study for a long time, and I, I know uh, Shelley's always been just on that side that I'm not a teacher. I can't really teach those things, and but God has given you what you have, and you can take what you have and give to others, and others can learn. And we're all at different stages of growth, aren't we? So um, that's what's nice about each one of us in the Lord. Each one can take another one and. And allow us to grow. And I thank the Lord. Um, each one. I mean that with me. I learn all the time when I'm talking with each one of you. And I, I thank the Lord for that. I really do. Uh, anybody else like to come and share a testimony this morning? I'd like to come up here. Carol. As we were singing, this is my father's world, I thought, you know, we forget that he is in total control of everything that's happening. We may go chaotic, chaotic or whatever that word is, and, and just lose it. But we always have to remember that God is on his throne. He's not le letting anything happen that needs that doesn't need to be happening he is in control and we have to remember that and we have to be strong and let other people know that he is still on his throne he is still in control and we don't have to worry about it if we're saved and praise the Lord I'm saved I just love my Lord and I praise him daily that he is my Savior and my Lord, and I can't say enough that people around me, I see their faces, how angry they look, and I think, why, why are you so angry? I mean, they, they think of this world, you know, it's going down the tubes, and we all know that, but if you think about it, we're the ones to blame for it, because we haven't taken a stand and haven't been able to really tell others about the Lord and, and what he's done for us. And we need to remember that 
we need to do that. Thanks, Carol. Uh, reminded us that the Lord is in control of those things and he's got a purpose and he's bringing everything right to that end where he's going to bring things. We thank the Lord. Anybody else have a testimony this morning they'd like to come and share? All right, we'll give them.